Hello everyone, it's Lacey Noel, and today I have a product that I am really, really, really excited to review for you guys. I actually, um, I was walking around at Sephora after I was getting uh, Funko Pops at Hot Topic, and I didn't really expect too much, I was just walking around, blah, 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 and in the corner of my eye, I see this beautiful Chai Force of Beauty, which is Kat Von D's Alchemist Palette. Now, this is really really beautiful it's really small but it's really fabulous just like me and so i appreciate it very much <laughs> but um it is really really stunning it has that holographic reflective design on it that kat von d designed herself and also i don't know the packaging is just really beautiful and also, uh, before I move on with this, I wanted to tell you guys what the definition of alchemy is. So, what is alchemy? Alchemy is an ancient practice shrouded in mystery and secrecy. Its practitioners mainly sought to turn lead into gold, a quest that has captured the imaginations of people for thousands of years. However, the goals of alchemy went far beyond simply creating some golden nuggets. So, like, yeah. That's the definition of alchemy. It's also known as medieval chemistry. And my dogs are going insane. Um, but this is a really, really cool palette and I am so ready to just open this one up. Apparently my dogs are too. <laughs> um, and the packaging on this is really beautiful. That iridescent holog holographic glow. So pretty. And then you open it up. It's confusing me a bit. Oh, and I, I love the fact that it's an A and like the letter A is sort of like a triangle. So like, you know. So pretty. <laughs> and then um, we have a triangular mirror here. And I'm going to cover it so you guys don't see yourselves. <laughs> but um, it comes with four different colors with four different hues. This is more of like a, um, I wanna say like a rosy kind of color. This is more of a purple. This is like a blue toned highlighter and then this is a green toned highlighter. So um, these are actually named after different elements that you would induct into alchemy. For example, emerald, sapphire, amethyst, and opal. And it also says, like, beside them, like, uh, green, blue, ultraviolet, and pink. Um, I really love these highlighters, and I think it's the first set of highlighters that Kat's ever come out with. And um, I'm pretty impressed with, like, her first highlighters being, like, really cool and alternative rather than your, you know, like, every day champagne pop you know what I mean um not that champagne pop is like bad or anything it's just that like Kat Von D is known for her more artistic approach and alternative approach when it comes to makeup and so along with this I'm going to test out this blue one because I'm really curious about it on this cheek right here And I'm going to use the mirror. The mirror is really good. I like the mirror. Oh, that is cool. It makes me feel like a mysterious woman of the night. Like, oh my god. a little bit more. <laughs> I like highlight. It's cool. I like the fact that you can build it up too. That's really cool. Take this one and blend it a little bit.
I really like this one. This is cool. And also with my regular blue box, I think that this one will look really, really neat. Um, this is a really, really nice blue. This is sapphire. It's really pretty. It looks really pretty with this hair. On the other cheek, I'm going to continue this with the ultraviolet shade because I think that it would look really nice with my hair as well. Because in this hair, I actually have like, like pastel blue and purples and pinks. Don't worry guys, I'm not flipping you guys off. I'm just trying to get my hair away from my face, so. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the green on the other one. Because I have an idea for the purple. Oh, this is really cool. I love it how it did give, <clears throat> I'm like stuttering. <laughs> I love how it gives different sheens to the face and it kind of makes it seem like you have like really interesting lighting on you. Kind of like, you know, that really edgy fashion, high fashion <clears throat> photography. That's pretty, I love it. And then I'm going to use this to blend it out a little bit more. The blue, the green, and I'm going to actually do a really cool trick with the purple. Now, you can mix these with different eyeshadows and they can kind of um, make new colors. And that's why it's called the Alchemist palette because you can kind of mix them, match them, and make new things. Now with the the purple one i'm gonna take my finger just roll it around in there that's what she said <laughs> but um i'm sorry guys <laughs> i'm going to put it on my lips and by the way on my lips i have kat von d's roxy with L-U-V in the middle, kind of blend it out to make it a little bit lighter. But I'm going to take this amethyst color, which is an ultraviolet shade, and, ooh. Mm, this is cool. Medieval chemistry up in here. This is really cool. I love it over the lipstick. It just makes it pop, you know what I mean? It, it makes it look electric. It's really crazy. Now I'm going to put that pink shade over like in the, on the brow bone because I actually have like a white eyeshadow of Kat Von D's on my brow bones to kind of bring them out. And also they help clean up the brows a bit, so, you know. I'm gonna put that shade and put it right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, 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 I like this a lot. It is like kind of a part of my language, but it's a little bit of like a mind fuck with how like, cause it does seem like I have like really interesting lighting on my face, but it's just the shimmers or the highlighters. And I love the fact that you can build it up. I love the fact that it's not like bam in your face highlighter because when you have a bam in your face highlighter, it becomes really hard to work with. 
I don't know if anybody else feels the same way or whatever, but like if you have a highly like pigmented highlighter, then it's like kind of hard to like blend it. I don't know. This is really cool though. And then I'm going to put a little bit in the corners of my eyes. Oh, that is a glowy, glowy little finish right there. Oh, I like this a lot. It sounds like a really weird soccer mom. I'm sorry. I like this a lot. Oh, this is really cool. I feel like a glowing princess of some kind. It's weird. Um, and then I'm gonna put that on my nose too. And also like I only have a few brushes I, that I put on my table so that's why I'm kind of doing this with my finger but it's all good. It's really cool. This is really really fun. It's so interesting. I've never like tried any kind of like highlighter that was like more unique in this way. This is really cool. I love this purple over the lip. It's just electrifying. As John Travolta says in Greece, it's electrified! <laughs> this is really stupid, I'm sorry guys. Um, but yeah. Um, with drawing, I usually start with the lightest pencil, and then I gravitate like more towards the dark as I'm uh, continuing on with it. But this is really darling. I love it. I usually put a little bit here too. I love the pink one, and I love the purple one. The purple one's really cool. So I'm gonna put more of that sapphire on this one. Ooh, yes. I think this would look really cool with like um one of my Mayron body paints. And by the way, I'm using a Sephora fan brush and a Pat McGrath highlighter brush that I got with her highlighters in the past. <sighs> I'm going through all sorts of different accents. Which makes sense because I've lived all over the place. I really like this green too. It's really neat. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put. I'm like addicted to this now. I love. I like playing with like highlighters. They're so weird. Like you can do so much with them. But with this Alchemist palette, like I feel like it works really well with other products too. You know what I mean? Like because it's alchemy. Like you're mixing things and you're making new things. You know what I mean? It's like medieval chemistry. Like I said earlier. Earlier. <laughs> what am I doing? See, I'm going through all these weird accents, guys. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I've lived I've lived in the East Coast and the South and now the West Coast and I'm you know I'm like traveling through all those lands in my voice but I'm putting the purple over this eyeshadow that I have on right now because I think it'll look pretty. I love how it gives it that purple tint and it's like shimmering. Find a way to put this on my eye. I look like a pastel princess. I love it. It's really, really cool. It's a yes for me, dog. Like, it's awesome. I really, really love this palette. Like, the only flaw that I see with it is that I wish that there was more product. Um, speaking of product, it has 
1.53 grams or 0.05 ounces with each pan. I want more of it and so the only complaint I have is just like I just wish there was more of it. Um, I, if you're like experimental with your makeup and you want or you want even like more of like a alternative kind of highlight but you don't want to be like shit blam all over the place like with you know the highlight like these are really good sturdy pigmented highlight with this product i mean i just think that with kat von d's products in general like i love both her and i love her products because they're very reliable and as an artist myself and since she's an artist i just feel like i can really understand how she goes about things and i love the fact that each and every one of these things comes from her heart even the design on here she even has like the rough sketch of it. I mean like she's a true artist, you know, and um, That's pretty much it for my review if you guys have this palette Please let me know in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? How do you feel about it? Let me know and also I Hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like comment subscribe to support me and I'll see you next time